So, good morning everybody. Hope you've had a fantastic week. It has been very wintry around here and busy for me. So, uh, stuck in town all week, working, just, you know, the boring stuff. So today, the sun's out, it's a beautiful day. We're going for an adventure drive. So buckle up, be sure you're subscribed, and let's enjoy the ride. Kelowna this morning. Uh, the sun has been just beautiful. It's, oh, it's just a glorious day. So we're gonna head down a road that until about two weeks ago was inaccessible. It's to a little lake that I've been to before in the summer and I remembered the road was all sorts of fun. So we're gonna see what it looks like in the winter time. I've got, well, can't really see it in there, but I've got shovels, kitty litter, candles, you know, all that stuff when you leave the main roads in the winter. So we're uh, as prepared as we're gonna be. We're heading down that way. So, I uh, decided we're going to try turning off the traction control and stability control in this car for the first time ever and uh, see what that gives us. I've never done it, so let's find out. So, I have absolutely no idea where I am right now. Uh, <laughs> I appear to be in a small town that's just in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. There's a lake up here somewhere. Unless I took a wrong turn and I'm somewhere completely new now. It's uh, <laughs> lots of things look familiar out here when they're not. So this, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna keep driving. See where the road takes us today. Got nothing but time. Oh, there's the lake. We're on the other side of the lake. Okay, we definitely took a different turn than the last time I was in this area. Yeah, here's the lake on the left. <laughs> I was expecting it to be on the right. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure I've been here, actually. Huh. Anyways, now that we're driving again, probably pay attention, so. <laughs> Once we find somewhere to maybe have a little bit of fun in a safe and secured fashion, we will uh, do so. But until then, I'm gonna figure out what turn I took and, uh, cause this is obviously wrong. <laughs> the road just ended. So, <laughs> but that's, that's part of the fun of just going for a drive. Uh, yeah. So once I figure out where exactly I thought I was, we'll pick the camera back up. If you poke it with a stick on ice, the car just wants to go forward. I, I'm actually trying to make it misbehave right now, and I can't. Like, this is, 
I'm very impressed. Like, we're just gonna huck it, right? And it, it just goes. Right, that's fully defeated traction control and it's just, it just hooks and goes on snow. I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. There's a lot of mechanical grip in this car, combined with a little bit of winter tire action, and we're pretty good for the roads. And this is not really a road. Uh, the road that I thought I was gonna go down, um, we actually, that turn back there, the when we turned right, and you know that big wall of snow right in front of us? Yeah, that was the road. So that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> It's actually the same thing that's happened over at Kelowna Mountain. And it's Kelowna Mountain. I looked it up. Uh, the snow has gotten to the point where the forestry road is inaccessible. And that's the only way up. Wow, I'm going way too fast. But... Look at that! We're going downhill. Going a little quick for the conditions. Then the car just doesn't care, even with the traction control and stability control off. Well, unfortunately, the road I wanted to go down, as you saw, was completely blocked off. Uh, ended up going back down a road that I've, I know I've been down, I just can't remember when or what car I was driving. It kind of seems like it might have been the Ford, because this sign, this area seems like it was where I visited when I was on my little holidays a few years back here. But, uh, just up the highway here, kind of that way, I keep passing signs for a drag strip. I've never stopped to see if it's still open or if it is a drag strip even, but uh, I think today, seeing as it's just a random adventure kind of day, maybe we'll just take a left turn off the highway and see what it's all about because with summer on its way who knows maybe we'll take the Cadillac to a drag strip because that would be kind of interesting actually on that note I uh, <laughs> I got an email the other day reminding me that uh, because I went to the track last year I have the ability to sign up for track days this year Not sure. Not sure that's a good idea. <laughs> but uh, the, the public kind of registration starts in about a month or something like that, I seem to remember reading. So I got some time to think on whether or not I want to take a luxury version of a luxury car to a racetrack. I mean, it'd be fun. I just don't know how well the car would hold up. And it's my only car, so... <laughs> I don't want to get stuck in that whole mess again. But, yeah, we're going to jump back in the car, head up the highway, maybe stop by a drag strip, and see where the rest of the day takes us. So, buckle up, and let's enjoy. All right, so just turn down the road that heads towards, it's called Thunder Valley Dragway, or Raceway. I can't actually remember what I just read. Uh, <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee today. Anyways, uh, this is clearly not used very much in the winter. The snow is quite deep, and there's a lot of precarious trees. And lots of warnings about this being an active logging road. And there's the drag strip. So, it does exist, but... Oh, we got somebody behind us. Yeah, so it does exist but it's clearly closed. So we're gonna find somewhere safe to flip around on this logging road because you never know when a truck's gonna be coming. And I don't have a CB radio in this car, so I couldn't, I wouldn't know if they were about to run into me. Ooh, but I like this road. Might have to make a note of this and come back in the summertime.
And time for some zoom zoom. Yeah, it, it gets up to speed. I mean, it's not as fast as the Mercedes by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not slow, or at least not dangerously slow when it comes to merging onto highways and stuff. And I'm, I'm still just staggered by the amount of grip this car puts down on snow and icy conditions. And never before this had I owned a Cadillac. And in the last four and a half months, I have grown quite fond of this car. It's kind of shocking, I know. Can't do burnouts, it doesn't have a V8, but it's nice to drive. And it's, well, it's actually kind of fun. Because I, I'm pushing the car as far as I think it'll go, and it's just laughing at me and say, bring it on. So, yeah, this summer is going to be, we're going to have some fun on these roads. I'm going to make sure to invest in a good set of tires for it. And I think this will be an absolute blast on the mountain roads at, like, sane speeds, not supercar speeds or anything like that. But, yeah. So we're going to head back to town. I have no idea what we're going to end up doing for the rest of the day. But, yeah. I'll probably film some more, probably edit. I don't know. I might even do some streaming. <laughs> it's one of those days where... I just want to relax and do nothing or whatever I want to do kind of things. So, yeah. So, thank you very much for coming along today on our little random adventure drive. If you enjoy this sort of content, please consider subscribing. Leaving a like is always appreciated. Comments are a good way to get me to chat back with you. And other than that, we're just going to have fun. We're going to keep smiling, and we'll catch you on the next adventure.